Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to In The Game For Ukraine, which is a live stream. We well, should probably know what it is if you clicked on it, right? A live stream <laughs> fundraiser in order to raise money for the British Red Cross Ukraine Crisis Appeal. I'm Julia Hardy. And I am Aoife Wilson. And we have a ton of professional games actors coming in to reprise some of their top roles in your favorite games today. I mean, no matter how small are gonna help so many people and get humanitarian aid to those who need it the most. Um, yeah. so it I really still can't is believe £100 get you 66 sleeping mats. That's it is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So, like, I mean, whatever you can afford is absolutely fine, yes. of course. Give whatever you can. Every single little bit Very much is going to help yeah. and is fully appreciated. So, um, how do you do you like to drink blood, Aoife? I have been known, I've been, I've been known to, to sample some blood. No. <laughs> where are you going I, with I don't know. Where were you going with this? Seriously, this is what happens when you get us into a studio of an afternoon. We just get a little bit strange. <laughs> it's basically the weekend, so it's fine. Flawless segue. Yeah, yeah. So um, I know a lot of you guys out there loved uh, the vampire games. Mm -hmm. um, you all are quite thirsty in lots of ways from what I read for a lot of <laughs> I mean, I'm, I live in a, a state of perpetual thirst. Let's let's just be well, yeah. Well, the pregnant, yeah. <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> anyway, if you don't know, uh, of course, action uh, vampires an action role play video game developed by Don't Nod Entertainment and is published by Focus Home Entertainment. And so today we have Anthony Howell, who is playing Dr. Jonathan Reed, Doctor Turned Vampire. Oh you my. give back that blood. <laughs> it's not for you. Here, do you know the Hippocratic Oath? Does that mean nothing to you? People? Well, he is torn between it. Oh, that's true that is true. i tell you when i played this game i had nothing but rats and i'm very proud of that fact <laughs> oh, yeah. um so uh christina cole uh, originally played uh, jonathan's sister mary uh, but obviously she was uh, unable to join us today so lucy fish has very kindly stepped in thank you lucy pleasure we're gonna stop talking and let you do your job yes. <laughs> 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 okay mary is it really you I'm gathering a family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead, thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Oh, Jonathan, always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer. The star of the show. Mary, let me explain. Shut up! It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course, you can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother... Promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. Mary, I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss. All we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? I'll show you mine then. The family Reed. Reunited and complete, living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, mother. Say hello to my son for me. Mary, wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge. Vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. 
All these nights in Whitechapel, pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you that's the disease, Jonathan. You. I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let Mother go, please. You were always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now, you're tainted. You're mad. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever! You know I will not play this game. Come now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I will kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with the hair of red. I am the harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. Whoa. <coughs> Ooh, I'm feeling a little bit faint we, there. That's, that's a little, little bit. bit. Oh, <laughs> that was amazing. Is it, is it hot in the booth right now? Oh, it's just in here. <laughs> My goodness me. Um, well, that was that was that was fantastic. Um, Anthony, you've done a few pretty dark games. Uh, yeah, why do you keep getting typecast? You why, why, are you, why are you the, the dark and tortured character? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, no, I'm not. Really, I'm not that. What were you like in real life? Uh, Dark and tortured? <laughs> 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 Pretty easy going, actually. I'm, I, yeah. But I love playing dark and tortured characters. Cause What's I, so I, fun I, about them? Sorry? What's so fun about them? Um, I think because it's, it's a world that I, I rarely get to explore on, on stage and screen. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just relish being able to play parts that I wouldn't normally get get cast in, um, mm. yeah, and also because you do a lot of TV and stuff like that as well. But you're not cast. You're not. You don't do quite so dark stuff. It's more like foils wall or and like yeah. just a It's not like <laughs> going around drinking people's blood. I mean, I, yeah. Well, the Luther, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I love playing dark and tortured characters. What's the kind of major differences between? TV shows and voicing video games? Uh, well, I think just that. I think that the, the fact that we can all play characters that, that sort of don't look like us. Mm. You oh, know, yeah, yeah. Vampires, mm. aliens, robots, you know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is. All the fun stuff. All yeah. the fun stuff. <laughs> um, I, I rarely get cast as vampires, aliens and robots, which is a shame. Oh. But in but in, in the gaming world, I, I just, yeah, I love I love. There are no barriers. Characters. You can do anything. Yeah. Be anyone. Yeah. Um, um, do people ever ask you to write, uh, or, like, do like sexy voicemail messages or anything like that? Is there like a sign? They haven't or? until now. <laughs> no. Well, they should. <laughs> well, well, we'll get we'll get you on the voicemail just when you come out of the booth, okay? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you know, if someone makes a particular, I mean, we'll speak to the guys. Particular donation, sexy voicemail message. I mean, I don't know how long he's staying around. <laughs> there you go. There's a, there's a stretch goal for you for sure. <laughs> and uh, Lucy, you're so you're in a, a radio soap opera, Greenborn. I am indeed. Are yeah. there are there a lot? Is there a lot of overlap between voicing video games and radio? I imagine so, probably. Yeah, yeah really similar. I think the difference is. Um, for games, for me anyway, I've always mainly been in the booth on my own. Mm. You're kind of imagining everything else around you. And radio drama is often like a, a huge ensemble in the same room. It's almost like rehearsing a play. It's like being in the rehearsal for a theatre piece. Um, but in, I suppose it's the same in that you're imagining the world. You know, it's all in your head. You can. It's only the audio to carry you. Mm -hmm. So um, lots of crossovers, yeah. And um, when you do radio stuff, do they like do kind of like the foley stuff at the same? like time so they make like the noises of things I haven't had that Have on you, projects do, do I've they? worked sometimes on they do, do sometimes That's I've so seen weird. the videos of it and it's amazing the mind out for the gravel pit yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> like jumping over it yeah uh, which one's more fun though mm. games yeah, yeah. <laughs> we knew it 
Friday days are the best. There was no pressure to that answer <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Have either of you do, because um, obviously we're talking mostly about uh, voice acting today, but of course, you know, video game performances is, has come on so much in the last few years. It's all about performance capture, you know, it's, it's, full, bo it's a full body job now. Have either of you had a chance to, to do that? Yeah, have you? I've had, I've not done the full, I've had um, a head cam and done it in the booth, oh, but I've not yes. been in the suit and done the full, full body motion capture. I would love to. I guess you would have done. Yes, yeah. My first, I think my first uh, game was, was full mocap with oh, the, wow. you know, the leotard and, oh, the, wow. and the dots. What I an mean, intro to game. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that was uh, a game... Um, Lords of Shadows, oh, Castlevania. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's so I did the mocap for Dracula uh, that Robert Carlyle voiced. Yes. Um, and that was that was three and a half weeks working with Kate Saxon at Audio Motion, and it was it was really in at the deep end. But Again, an vampires. amazing Yeah, experience. all vampires, but you just have a look about <laughs> vampires, you. Or yeah. a voice about you, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, what, what's, been vampire. The, <laughs> what's been your favorite what's been your favorite games to work on? Wow. I'll let you go first. <laughs> I did a lovely game last year called The Magnificent Truffle Pigs. Oh, yeah. Have you, seen, have you played it? There was only two of us in it, me and Arthur Darville. And actually, that was almost like a bridge between radio drama and games because it was very chatty, real life, um, yeah, very everyday conversation. And you kind of just get the story subtly over the whole, over the whole game. Um, so that was lovely because there was just two of us working on it with a lovely... Um, a lovely company, mm. so yeah, I really enjoyed that. I I really tried to think then. I, I you I, can't you remember them. You have too many. <laughs> too many. Just trying to like mentally go through your IMDb I've, list. I've just I've been so lucky to work with with some incredible writers and developers and directors and, uh, and, and and fellow actors on games that I couldn't name You just one. stop being diplomatic. <laughs> no, it's true. I, I, I mean, yeah. you know, the, this game Vampire was a joy to, to work on, especially being a, you know, a lead character. You get to really... Do you get, get the nice biscuits? You get lovely biscuits, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> and um, what, what's the kind of vampire like fandom been like to you? Like, what's the reaction been like to you? Like, what, what kind of weird messages do you get? Well, I, 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 I was off Twitter for a long time and off social media. So, and I've only just come back on. Um, and what's the what's it been like? You've just come back on. What's what you've? I, it I, I, it just surprises me that that it's still going. I mean, it's mm. a fantastic game. Yeah. But, people but are obsessed with it. Yeah, I don't think they you really realize. are. They really are. And and that's and that's lovely to know that. Um, you know, people really enjoy and relate to something that you've loved working on mm -hmm. and, and, you know, tried to put your heart and soul into. And, and that, I think that's what's so great about the gaming world is you get this instant feedback from people. They, I mean, they yes. really I mean, love it, you know, they, but one of the <laughs> it, it's so it, it, it's been fantastic reading and, and reading things. Sort of retrospectively. Yes, um, yeah. that's always better. It's always a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And the <laughs> the fan art and it's it's just incredible. It's just it's nice to feel connected um, to you know to to, yeah. to to the players. Well, I mean, I think you know, I think a lot of voice actors don't <clears throat> don't realise. Remember having this conversation with Doug Cockle about The Witcher, and this was after The Witcher three. He didn't really understand like what it meant because it's different. Big. It's not just like watching a film, and you can have that aspiration that you like someone who's like an actor, but. You guys spent hundreds of hours being literally inside someone's yeah. head and ears. It's so much more intimate. Yeah. It's so much more personal, you yes. know. So, yeah, that's the impact. Amazing. And yeah. th so thank you both so much for bringing your characters to life again yeah. today. It's been thank really fascinating to see what works. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've had a little guest pass into this game today. So oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, I hope you're thinking like, yeah, next one. <laughs> yeah, Lovely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's been brilliant. And of course... The performance was amazing. We d I did get a bit flustered. Oh, you did. I, 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 yeah, I had to leave the room. I was like, whoo, whoo, whoo. need to get some air. Um, but of course, the reason we're all here today um, is for Operation Ukraine. And uh, if you, if you, you know, just joining us, here is how you can donate. So all you have to do is go to siteglobal.com forward slash Ukraine and you will find all of the Tiltify details there um, and you can make a donation no matter how big or small it will be very very much appreciated if you're able to do so.